it seemed like a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about governance in um, community organisations, look at the challenges that we were facing, and to uh, pick up some ideas, I think. So we've had a, a great morning. The, it's a learning time for us, and uh, there's a lot of change going on in, um, in the not-for-profit sector, and one has to keep themselves informed. So it's very, very important to keep learning. And uh, this gives us a wonderful opportunity to uh, hear, you know, a lot of com comments from competent speakers who are experts in their field, and it helps us when we go back to our organisations to perform at a, at a much better level. You've got to have that strategic position of your organisation set and work really hard for it. So you, you've just got to, you've just got to be slick and have your, your organisation good, and you can do that by coming to a place like this and. Uh, and learning so much. To re-energise myself and to get some ideas from other people um, in the not-for-profit sector and it's to hear and share stories um, from right across the country about some of the challenges that we're facing. I haven't been along before, it's just something to broaden my knowledge of uh, board, board function, uh, as from a CA point of view and uh, as a board chair point of view. Uh, yeah, it's just, and interacting with other people who you don't know. And have that experience, uh, like the person we we're just talking to, um, seeing where he's come from, and learning things from them, and taking them back to, uh, to our board table. Getting some uh, contemporary information and making sure that you're keeping up with the diverse speakers and presentations, and it's always interesting to get another perspective and uh, validate your own judgment or decide whether you're right or wrong or <laughs> somewhere down the middle. And I think most times, invariably, people make up their own mind and mostly they're right, but it's nice to have that decision validated and that's a real outcome from these these events, I find, anyway. So It's about personal development and to see what's happening out there and to keep myself you know, current with you know, all the governance and policy issues that come from time to time. That's one. Two, I think it's broadly more about networking and you know, getting to meet other people who are in a similar sort of position. We came last year and presented on our organisation's board traineeship program and we're here this year to talk about our strategic planning process and so we found that the conferences is a really good opportunity to share what we do and get a perspective of what other organisations do. Now I'm a new board member so I'm here to, a bit of learning professional development for me but also um, to support Ruth in, um, in, uh, in this conference. We work in uh, internal audit around regional Victoria and a lot of our clients are not-for-profits looking to really um, consolidate our knowledge on the new changes, ACNC and the likes, and get a bit out of risk management uh, and a few of the other topics that this uh, conference is providing. I think just being uh, exposed to a whole variety of, of different issues and um, being able to sort of see different um, perspectives on things, like, uh, for example, the debate yesterday morning. Um, on whether board members should be paid or not was quite uh, interesting to sort of hear different viewpoints that sort of people um, may have on it and um, and then how that sort of had an influence then on how people overall voted towards it. Being new to the Board of Management at Local Drug Action Groups in Perth, um, I think it's been growth. It's understanding more on what the role is as a board member and what I can do to improve and assist our board to move forward into the future. I saw the brochure and we haven't been before and we believe that we need to uh, look at our board and see what we can do as we come from a very small community of Broken Hill and we see that interacting with the, the majority of people in the not-for-profit sector would be a great asset to our, uh, our board. So that's why we came, there's five of us here, which is great, so that we all also get a lot of networking and a lot of uh, crucial information in, in terms of how we can govern better. So, and so far it's been, today it's been excellent. We can't keep in Broken Hill and try and maintain uh, currency. You have to do some travelling. It's worth it, it's worth it.